So we go back to our routing module and incorporate or include the three uh, other components under the main component. So here in our main component, we have to put them as children of the main. So <clears throat> okay, here children. and then enclose it in bracket so inside here we could put our path for the three other components which is the home the schedule and the account okay so we put a path name for these three and it's home and then the component is home component Okay, comma. So we need another one for the schedule. The component is the schedule component. Okay, and another for the account. account component okay so from these three component the first one to appear must be the home component so we have to make a redirection for this we have to redirect redirect it to that component so redirect to in which the redirection is the um, home component. Okay? So the path match must, must be full. Right. So we could see here that uh, from these three for the component, the redirection is the home component using the path. Now, you notice that there is no slash like the login because um, it is within the uh, parent component of the, which is the main, uh, main parent component. Okay, so let's arrange this. There you go. Let's save this one. And the next thing that we're going to do is we have to go to our main component, HTML. Here you go. We have to put here our header, our footer, and also a router outlet in our main because we want now that all the three other components will be also um, included and just redirect to the home component. So let's save this one and let's see if it works. Okay. Let's go to submit. So there you go, the header, the home, and the footer. Now, in our um, <clears throat> header, we could put here our um, nav bar. We could put a nav bar here. So in our header, uh, we open header component HTML. So replace this one with a nav bar. Okay, and... Here are our uh, three submenus, home, then we put here account, and then uh, I don't know, there's an account there, schedule. Okay, so in our home, so it must be going to our main or home, comp home component. So our path for that is the home. So we'll just uh, put our router link for this. Home. Okay, and also for our schedule, we are going to use uh, remove the A. Our router link is our schedule. 
So router link and that is our schedule here. The path that we have assigned for that and also for our account, okay, the path is account. Okay, let us see this one. Okay, so there you go are the our nav bar for our home component. So if we go to the account, it will go to the see the account works, the schedule works. So home we go to the home. Now um let's add one more. Okay, let's just copy this one. And that is the logout. Now if it is a logout, it will have to go to our login component. And the path for that is the login. So I have to put a slash there because it has to go out of the main component. Okay. So save. Let's see. So if it is log out, it has to go back to this login page. Okay. So these are just very simple navigation that you could have in our uh, Angular implementing the router. In our apply here, you could put some admission um, form here, and then you could put some back button. Um, let's see, let's put some back button in our admission. So admission component, our HTML. So let's make this one a little bit bigger. Say uh, H3, and then let's put a back link. Okay, about an uh, H4. And then let's put a router link for this. A. This is a hyperlink, so I'm going to use an A tag for that. It will go to our login component. Okay, there we go. Let's see if it is working. Okay, so if we click the back button, it will go to our login component. So there you go. It's a very simple way on how to implement the router of Angular. Let's have a little, uh, let make sure that in your app component, you have defined all the routes that your application will go, okay? and the children for each uh, component that you will be having, okay? Uh, as you could see here, in every path that we have created, there is also an import of the class for every component. So you have to be very careful here. If you change names or delete a component, make sure you have to remove the import as well or change the name of the import as well. So I hope you will going to try this one and you will see how beautiful it works on the navigation and how you move from one component to another in your Angular project. Okay? Um, so okay. So happy coding guys and uh, make sure to like my um, channel and subscribe. Okay, so, so happy coding guys. Um, let me see what you have by writing in the comment section and uh, uh, let me hear from you if you have done this successfully. Goodbye.